for a long time, okay? Um, why did I do this? I did this for personal reasons, okay? I lost my very good close people to me, okay? And I decided, wow, maybe if I teach, maybe we can teach others and they were able to do it, okay? Um, so let's, why don't you introduce yourselves and tell me why you're here? I'm Tiggs, aka Titan Beckett, and I'm doing, I don't know how to um, actually do the medical thing about like, saving a person's life, and I'm here today, and I want to learn, and we're also going to try to get you in as a, um, a person that we can interview on Tiggs and Louise Commentary. I'm mom um, of these two Tigs and Rudy's commentary and Andrea from Mother and Daughter Production. And me, I'm here to learn. <laughs> okay, and what's your name? Andy Cruz. All right. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's open up to page two in your books. We're going to watch the introduction. Okay. This is before getting here. You could have would be to have a friend or a family member, someone that you love, need CPR. Life, I had allowed myself to uh, step out of myself. In that moment, so does CPR, just by watching this, does CPR work every single time? No. No. What did the caption say at the end on the first one? Did it give a chance or did it actually save a life? Save a life. First one. Save a life. No, no it gave him a chance. Gave him a chance. Gave him a chance, right? Okay. What about the second one? Yeah, that saved the life. Yeah. That one saved the life. And what about the third one, the little girl? The that saved the life. That saved the life, <laughs> right? So CPR works, okay, but not always, okay? So always remember that we're doing what we need to do, okay? We're trying to save a life, all right? And what do we do? Compressions and breaths, okay? And you're going to learn all this when we do CPR, all right? Um, okay, so the next one is what would you do, okay? <laughs> what was that? Do you think he needs help? You know, no. It's probably nothing. Sir? Alright, in this segment here, okay, what triggered her to do something? Uh, that she was knocked out. Okay, so he was, what else? Diabetes. Okay, so yes, he did have diabetes, but what was a, there was a specific something that... Her trigger. Think about... The cup spilled over. There you go, okay, the cup that dropped on the floor, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so how did we know? Yeah, we knew because, he, we knew he had diabetes. How did we know he had diabetes? It's because he had an ID card. Exactly, the ID card, which is the bracelet that's on his wrist, right? Okay, so what were some barriers? Yeah, I'm punching in line where they try to sue for getting injured during the time you do CPR. Yeah, but there's a good Samaritan law that actually protects us. As long as we act in good faith, not be deliberately negligent or reckless, act within the scope of your training. We're doing compressions and breaths, not anything else. Okay, that's what we're training you to do, and that's what you're going to do. Um, in your field of work, okay? Or even out on the street if you wanna help somebody on the street, okay? Um, so as long as we do that, that puts matter and all does protect us. All right, okay, good job guys. Fine. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do, um, for this skill, we're gonna team up in twos, okay? Mm -hmm. No, you're doing it with me, Todd's gonna team up. Yeah. One baby in the back. No, grandma's in the camera. Yeah. And I gotta save you. Why? Because it's team to two. I'm rolling you over. Okay, cool. <laughs> I don't feel like you're rolling over by yourself. Oh, well, okay. So you, you sure you got enough room to roll me over? Yeah. Yeah, that's oh, what I want to do, Todd. He's like... I'm heavier today. I don't have no Large Extra stretch. large. Shorty is small. Put your hands here. Okay. Let's get over the edge. Let's get over the edge here. Right. Yep. Okay. So the first thing... The first thing is... Um, <laughs> she likes that spot. Um... Make sure that your head is turned this way. Okay, make sure your head is turned this way. Okay, in a real life situation, what you would do, okay, is go to the person's back of the head. All right, I'm only positioning this because we're putting, you know, we're staging it. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do 
you're going to, you see this person laying on the floor, right? So put your hands down on your side, and I want you to just go to sleep, okay? All right, so the first thing that you two are going to do, okay, is check the scene. Look both ways. Check the person. Tap them on the shoulder. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? There's no response. Tell someone, you call 911. Look, you some... call 911. Go call the 911. All right. The arm that's closest to you, I want you to pull it up, out and up, so that way it's at the top of the head. The arm's not going to go that way. There you go. Now, put it down at the top of the head like this. There you go. Okay? All right. And put it at the top of the head. All right? And I want to show you something really quickly. Put this arm back down real quick. So if she was on my side, when you're pulling out the arm, you're going to pull out and up. Okay? The arm doesn't go this way. All right? So, out and up. Got it? Okay. Sorry. Go ahead. Do what you're doing. Now. So, out and up. First thing you're going to do is check the scene. The scene's safe. Okay? Then you're going to check the person. There's no response. Tell someone. Go we'll call 911. Good. All right. The arm that's closest to you, what are you going to do with it? Do you remember? The arm that's closest to you? Good. Closest, closest. And the foot that's furthest from you, what are you going to do? Foot that's furthest. Excellent. Now, how are you going to roll them over without hurting them? Do you remember? Yeah, now, open up that airway. Let's see if she's breathing. Ready? And how are you going to listen to see if she's breathing? Do you remember? Right here. This one. Good. And tilt that head all the way back. Open it up. And how long do you listen for? 10. So it's 10 seconds, right? And we count it as 1, 1,000. Good. All right, now, if she's breathing... That means we need to put her in a recovery position, okay? The knee that's furthest, what are you going to do? Do you remember what to do with the knee that's furthest? I already did that. Mm -hmm. Remember? Bend it up. Do it again. Okay. Good. All right, that's good. The arm that's closest here should be done at the sign. The arm that's away from you should already be up in the air. She keeps dropping it on you, okay? All right, now you're going to stay on the same side as what you are right now and push the shoulder over. Hand on the, on the shoulder and go underneath this arm and push her away from you. Good. Now, say you need to walk away, right? What are you going to do if you need to walk away? Call 911. You, you, yeah, you're going to go get 911, but what about the knees? What are you going to do? You remember with the knees? Their knees. You got it. All right, and then what about the shoulder? Now, what about the um, what what about the arm? Where's that going to go? Excellent work. All right, good job. That's the shock is a life-threatening condition that occurs when a person's body is struggling to meet demands for oxygen and blood supply. Okay, so what is shock? What are they saying? Don't get another ear drink. Shock is like when your body is shutting itself down in a sense. Um, when something traumatic happened to it and it's reacting in a negative way. <laughs> exactly. So what causes shock? Do you know what causes shock? Heart attacks. Okay. So any kind of? Like organ damage. Okay. That's what it does. Trauma. But what? Trauma. Exactly. So any kind of trauma can cause shock. So we're looking for signals. What are some signals of shock? Rapid breathing and plus. Okay. What, oh, yeah, good. What else? Uh, altered levels of consciousness. Some signals of a heart attack. Just by listening to the video here. What are some signals? Uh, the heart not Okay, so that's that's cardiac arrest. Yeah. Think about heart attack. Think about 
about pain in the chest? Pain in the chest, what else? Pain in the neck. Okay, you can get it in the neck or the jaw. What else? Shortness of breath. Shortness of breath is another one. And if you look up, do, do women have the same side effects no. as men? No. No, what are their side effects? It could be anything from back pain to tingling. Ticklish. What about... Sudden, sharp, but short-lived pain outside of the breastbone. Exactly. Okay. Other ones are explained fatigue. Okay. Stomach, back, or jaw pain. Nausea or vomiting. And shortness of breath. That's good to go. So, women have different symptoms that men, that men do. Okay. The quicker you recognize, the better for the person. Okay. Oh, what's the next one? Early what? CPR, what's the next one? Early defibrillation. defibrillation and the last one. Advanced medical care. Okay, so what's the first word in every one of those? Early. What does that mean? Quick. Quick. Get there, you notice it, do what you need to do. The earlier the better for the person. Okay? All right. All right, so now what we're going to do, I'm going to play the video and I'm going to pause it in between. Okay, so I can fix what you guys are doing. Knowing how to correctly perform CPR will help you provide care to a person having a cardiac emergency until another trained responder or EMS per with your gloves on and your CPR breathing barrier ready. First, place the heel of one hand in the center of the chest along the breastbone. Then, place the other hand on top and lace your fingers together. and get your barriers on, okay? It says this side up, but don't worry about if it's this side up or anything like that. There's a picture here, if you notice here. See the picture? And mark where my cross is written. So that's the way it goes, okay? All right, now the first thing, thing that you're gonna do is put your hands in the center of the chest just like they're showing right here, okay? All right, and remember, when you do this, you're gonna hear a click every time. Okay, so that way I know that you have the two inch depth, okay? Position your shoulders directly over your hands. Keep your arms as straight as possible and your fingers up and off the chest. Push hard and fast in the middle of the chest, at least two inches deep. Now, give 30 chest compressions. Try to keep an even pace. The compression should be at a rate of at least 100 per minute. Counting out loud can help you. Ready? Go. Compression should be smooth. Let the chest rise completely before pressing down again. Don't take your hands off the chest, just your weight. Okay? Stop. Give another full set of 30 compressions. Remember, keep an even pace. The recommended rate is at least 100 compressions per minute. Ready? Go. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Okay, stop. CPR is performed in cycles of 30 chest compressions and two rescue breaths. To give rescue breaths, use a CPR breathing barrier if available. Tilt the head back and lift the chin up. Then pinch the nose shut and make a complete seal over the mouth. Blow in for about one second. Watch for the chest to rise and fall with each breath. If the chest does not rise, 
Retilt the head and try another rescue breath. Your instructor. I'm gonna pause it. Okay. All right. So pinch your nose up real tight. This works. Tilt the head all the way back with your hand. Place two fingers on your chin, open your mouth wide, and breathe hot air. It's like, okay? Go straight down. You're doing it. Perfect. Just don't push too hard here, okay? Okay, do it one more time. Squeeze off real tight. Okay, well, I'm mad. Turn your mouth wide, mouth close. Ah. Right here. And breathe higher. Like that. And go real fast. And relax. You feel yourself? Perfect. Okay, now we're going to do the other side. Okay. Here. 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 Okay. 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 Okay.
seconds. There you go. Okay. All right. So they're not breathing. Start CPR. No one will listen to a cover in 99 minutes. In 99 minutes. Oh, no. It took a long time for them to do CPR. Smaller. 
Put them on so it don't you don't have no problems and it don't get stuck to other stuff. All right. No, no, no. 